Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers with me, Emmy Heard 37 So we are in North Little Rock, Arkansas, and for this flight we're going to be going up to uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. Kind of a short flight, only about 260 miles or so. So we'll click this. See the screen goes black. Ever since I went to DX10, uh, it seems like anytime the screen switches on anything with FSX, I, it gives, goes like that. I don't know what the problem is. All right. There we go. Had it paused, too. All right, here we go. Fading to black. All right. So let's go ahead and get our two passengers. And we're going to cut way down on the fuel. Like I said, it's only like 260 miles, so 50%. That should be more than enough. All right, so let's uh, get our luggage on here. Put a lot, hopefully, in this one. We need to make some money after last time's debacle with the uh, freaking what? It, I don't know what button I hit or what happened, but somehow the lights got all turned off, um, like the strobe and everything, and landing lights. So we got dinged on that really nice. Wow, we got a ton of. Uh, 279 pounds, that's awesome. Alright, so let's set the type as a normal flight. And we'll set our destination as KC KV Outlaw. What? KC KV. Maybe that's just what it's called Outlaw United States. All right. Destination <laughs> Hopefully. All right, we'll go ahead and load it. Check flight control. Check Make sure we got our passengers. There we go. And as it fades to black, I don't know why it does that. All right, let's move this box up here. Go ahead and have them put their seatbelts on. Look down here, put the fuel in. Uh... Turn the battery on, beacon, nav, and fuel pump. So we can't get it started up. All right, we'll turn the fuel pump off. Generator on, avionics on. Let's go ahead and uh, start talking to ATC. Oh, well, we don't have to. Awesome. I don't even know what runway we're going to take off on. I didn't actually check the wind. So, you know, we'll just... Move this to GPS. We'll go ahead and select our own when we're on the move and see whatever is closest. Alright. Get this size then out of the way. Make it just so I can see the autopilot here. Alright. Let's move our... Shoot. With it's 700. Move this up to 7,500 feet. Alright, there we go. Alright. Reset the altimeter. I don't know why it doesn't like me to, to do that. Alright, parking brake is off. We can give it some throttle and we'll check out exactly where we're going. There's a runway down here. I think we can go to our left and we'll be a little bit closer. There's a taxiway over here, or taxi line, I should say. So we'll try and follow that. Oh, you know what? Hopefully they didn't ding us right there. Taxi light. I actually can't see that. I've got something clipped to my monitor, so I can't actually see it there. 100% so they didn't get us for that yet. Because they did get us last time for all the lights off. Like I said, I don't know why that happened. I don't know what button I hit that forced all the lights to go off. I do have a button that makes all the lights come on and off, but I may have clicked it twice. I don't know. 
Because originally I had thought it was because we had reset the, uh, with the 8X and everything, because all the textures were, of the plane were so messed up, but, uh, I don't think that was it. I think I actually hit the all lights button on and then hit it again to turn it off. Alright, so do we have a runway just to our left? I don't want to look over there just yet. I don't have enough hands. Alright, come over here and we'll take a look. Alright, so it looks like we got one huge long runway. I was hoping that we would be towards, towards the end of it, but apparently not. Alright, let me stop right here and before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead, oh, so Opus just clicked off. I'm going to go ahead and start it back up. So let me do that real quick. Alright, I'm back and we're going to head on to our right. I'm a little worried. If you see our GPS right there, it doesn't have us going towards anything. And that thing saying outlaw uh, on FS passengers has me kind of worried now. Uh, because I don't know what the heck is going on with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going the wrong way. I'm trying to think. What runway are we going to take off of? Uh, I believe it's five. Alright. I got to slow down a little bit as well. We're going way too fast. But, um, yeah, the GPS doesn't have us going to any airport. Unless I just didn't do it earlier. That may have been why. Hopefully it's got us right though. Alright, that guy wasn't on us, our airport. So we'll try and type that in here in just a second. Okay, a little fast again. Alright, I think we can turn right before we get to this runway. We don't need to go clear down to the end of ours. Heck, we could take off on one of those, actually. Be closer to the north. With 35, but oh well. Alright. So we'll come up here and stop, and then I'll try and uh, get it typed into the GPS. That just kind of has me kind of worried, but I think when I start up Flight Simulator, I don't think I uh, loaded my flight plan, which is just a direct flight plan. All right, so let's try this. Uh, let's see. No. Here we go. Let's see if I can type Squawk. it in. No. Now let's see. Squawk. Ah, come on, thing. Alright, so we we'll have to type it in this way. There's our K. Come on. Work with me. KC K and V up oh, there it was Clarksville Tennessee All right, we see it right there barely. But it is there. Um let's go ahead put our landing lights on, taxi off, strobe on. Alright, put the flaps out, two notches of flaps. All 
All right. Come on. Easy. Get ourselves lined up a little better. Slowing down a whole lot too quick, it seems. All right. That's about right. Let me look down here and trim this thing up real quick. All right. All right, let's go ahead and take off. Let me get this GPS up here real quick. Move it over a little bit. All right, we're ready to take off. Try and get lined up a little bit better real quick. All right, here we go. We're getting all squirrely here. There we go. A little bit better. Whoa! She was really wanting to go to the right, I tell you that. She wants to go way to the right. I do believe we have a calibration problem or something. It should not be doing this. Get off the ground real quick. Man, it was just going... It's almost like we have a rudder problem. Like It was just going dead right. Track the flaps. All right, flaps are fully retracted. Should be. Let me check that. Yeah, they are. All right, it's basically straight ahead. It's actually we're on the perfect runway, I guess. Trying to get to pick up a little speed. I don't want to send too fast. Nice looking scenery. All right, trying to level off a little bit just so we can pick up some speed. There we go, now we're trimmed out. Pretty nice. Getting a little left. I want to take a look outside real quick. Set the autopilot, nav, and altitude. Now I never did set the heading to the air on the run on the runway. That was kinda of stupid. Always got to forget something. I can never do anything perfect, it seems. Especially with FS passengers. It's like the worst. Take a look outside. I upped the autogen density. I usually have it on a uh, dense in the uh, other scenery. Very dense, but I moved this one up. Since we're not you know, in any congested areas, I figured it would be good. Take off the shakes real quick. Bring up the GPS. So as you can see, it's only like 256 miles. So we should have plenty of fuel, to be quite honest. I'm going to move this to 600. Yeah, there we go, 600. If we get to 7,500 feet, actually, let's... Um, Let's just go to 5,500. Maybe I'll change my mind when we get a little higher. But as for now, 5,500, because... Altimeter. Uh, stupid thing. Because we are quite heavy, and... Uh, so, I'll go ahead and speed it up. No, it shouldn't be too long, hopefully, too long a flight. So I'll speed up and uh, be back in just a bit. Thank you. 
All right, everybody, I'm back. I slowed it down a little bit. I love those dark screens when the thing reloads. Let's uh, see if we can find the KCKV. As we're about 27 miles out, we should be able to. There it is, Outlaw. All right, so it is called Outlaw. I don't know why. All right, so there's no tower. Let's select our runway. Let me move this down. Uh, still not going to be able to see it very well. Looks like five. I think five might be the best one for us. Yeah, I think five will be closest for us to go straight in. Didn't I just select five? Oh, I hit the wrong one, didn't I? Let's see if there's any procedures. I'm betting not. Well, there's way of only 35. Alright, so I'm going to move our heading over here just a little bit. We'll switch over to heading. Let's go down to 3,500. Uh, as you can see, we don't have very much fuel. I actually got really scared when we were about 200 miles away, and I was like, man, there's just no way. I actually thought about just stopping the video and starting over with more fuel, but I lowered the power a lot. Uh, well, not a lot, but a good bit, more than I ever do, in the uh, mixture a lot. And it looks like we're just we're going to make it, barely. I, I just need to, when we load up, start using more fuel and trying to get less baggage. Because it's causing some problems for us. We are very lucky to land sometimes to actually get there. Let's go a little more to... Well, that's probably too much, actually. Alright, we're about 10 minutes away, it says. Let's speed this up a little bit. Yeah, it's still with the altimeter thing. It's looking real cloudy out there. I think it's going to reload. Yeah, there it is. It's still really cloudy. Alright, 18 miles out. Kind of wondering if we're going too much to the right. Because I want to get down as soon as we can. You can look... The right one's almost on the red, although it can go down a little bit further than that. I know it, it can. I don't want to get too close, but I also don't want to be too too far away. Did I speed this up to four? I can't remember yet. Is I don't want to go too much lower either, but we will go to 3,000. Let's see, that's 15 miles out. We can probably go to the left a little more. Make a shallower approach. Well, kind of almost really goes almost straight in. Just right here. You can't see it on the map. Which is kind of annoying. The other thing is... Alright, we're probably too far out to the right, to be quite honest. We can probably come, start to come straight in. The only thing is, being so low... I'm not going to be able to see the airport all that easy. Alright, we're seven miles out. Let's slow this down a little bit. Let's peek up. Is that it right below us? Hold on.
Now where is runway 5? That can't be us. That has to be another airport. That's got to be this one right here. Because we're it's still out to the left. Here it is. Right over here. I'm, sh I'm betting. And from the looks of it, we need to get over to the left a lot more. It should be almost straight in from right here. Or runaway 5, but apparently not. I'm going to go ahead and retract the flaps a little bit more. I wish I could see it better. Yeah, it looks like we have to get over to the left a lot more. It looks like it's going in that way. Which is kind of surprising. I don't know if we're technically on base leg, but I used it anyway. Alright, we need to slow down and get our flaps out. Feels like we're coming, like we're at 2x or something. Figured we weren't, but it felt like it. Alright. Now we're good with one notch out. I figured we would have picked a shorter one. That's alright. I'm alright with that. Second notch of flaps is out. We'll go without the shakes. I don't know how it's got so far over to the right. I mean, I know it's coming into the r going out to the right, but that's because I thought we had to come in more to the left. But really, it was pretty much like straight in. All right, we're lined up. We're probably a little low. Bouncing around a little bit. Increase the speed because I, I want to stop that descent. We're getting a little low. Looks like we got some trees at the edge of the runway, so we'll just watch out for that. Increase the throttle a little bit. over to the right a little bit. Alright, full flaps. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. We're really high now. Not real high, but a little high. So wide runway, I like that. I hate messing with that. <laughs> it's like taking off your taking your concentration off. You don't have enough hands to do it either. Come on. Trying to do a better landing. The last one or two haven't been very good. As I recall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. No, 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 no. Not very good. Terrible, in fact. Ah, jeez. I don't know. I was actually landing better without much uh, practice at this. I'm getting worse. 
We don't need that. Because we can only tell when we're off the runway. Man, it's just... I don't know. I'm getting worse, not better. Retract the flaps. I don't know why I'm getting worse. But it's true. Like, my... Or my original landing is using this yoke and uh, pedals was actually better. I don't know why. Rather annoying, though. I hope that there's a taxiway over to the left. It looked like there was. Now I'm not so sure. All right, there is. Oh, my goodness. What? Lose my concentration. It all goes to hell. All right, we'll get up here. At least we're still at 100%. We're not going to lose money this time, I don't think. Unless I do something incredibly stupid from here on out. All right, come up over here. All right, we can stop right here. Tell them that we're off the runway. Let's Fix our lights over here. Landing off, strobe off, taxi on. And we'll come down here. We gotta check out where exactly the um, buildings are. The parking area. Because I didn't see anything. I didn't notice anything when we came in. I was kind of concentrating on landing, even though it didn't look like it. <laughs> Alright, hopefully it's just, just straight ahead. Get there, get there, get there. We run out of fuel. Because we did get dangerously low. Let's see if I can... Yeah, the right one's almost... Looks like it's almost completely empty. We've been... It said low fuel for like over an hour of actual flight time, not real time. But that seems to be how our flight's been going. That's because I want to take as little fuel as possible and as much luggage as possible. Luckily, I haven't been completely screwed over by it. But I'm afraid if we keep risking it like that, it may become a problem. Alright, come on up. I can't get over either. Stop right here. Man, I'm getting to the left. I don't see anyone coming. All right. Head across the runway. And we should be able to just park over there, I guess. Sometimes I get tripped up with my pedals still of which which is right which is left hopefully there's parking over here should be I would think actually is this a parking area over to our right kind of thinking we should probably go to the right because it looks like after this it's just more of a taxiway even though I can't really tell where do we park? there's an even bigger area over here Seems like we should be able to just park over by these buildings, though, like to our left. I don't know. I don't know if we have to go clear over here or not. Like going over here, it just seems like you're out of your way. Easy. Hard right. All right getting a little out of control. It's like I need more practice. I'm getting worse taxiing too, although it's 
because I'm going so fast. All right, let's stop right here. All right, parking brake is on. Cut the fuel. Turn off all of our lights and everything. Battery generator. Magnetos. All right, everything is off. We can take their seat belts off. We can let them on out. The black screen. All right, 258 nautical miles. Two uh, hours and 44 minutes of flight time, or airborne, 258 for the total. Time on the ground, 16 minutes. Average speed, 94 knots. Landing, uh, 50.97. Landing touchdown, 365 because we were falling. It was a bad landing. It was a horrible landing. Won't get points for it, I bet. Uh, 335 for the tickets. That's not bad. 181 for the cargo. Thought it would be more. 126 in fuel, two airport taxes, insurance 22, real time, or real income 366 times the 50, 18.3. So we made back our money that we lost this last time. It was like 10 grand, I think. Oh my goodness. Pilot bonus 317, perfect flight, no problems, 150. Oh yeah, they thought. Uh, we should be 100%, so we're up to 89.89. You land at the scheduled airport, 350. Long flight without using time acceleration, blah, 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 137. But look, we got, you had the wrong altimeter setting upon departure. Well, I I even told you, I hit the B and it goes altimeter. I don't know why when I use the pedals and yoke, um, that doesn't want to work anymore. You had the wrong altimeter set on landing. This has been a major cause of flight. But see, that's a bunch of BS. Because I hit, I hit the altimeter and it just... Well, I do the, you know, the auto uh, reset altimeter, and it just goes altimeter. Well, see, it worked right there. I, that, that's total bull, total BS. I even said it when we were taking off. I hit it, and it said altimeter because the ADF has been doing the same thing. Oh, well, it didn't cost us money. It just cost us pilot points, although that's going to make it harder to because we actually lost pilot points on the flight overall, so it's going to take longer to get up to another plane. Ah, jeez. But at least we've got you know, some more money. Uh, I've been scoping out some other planes. I don't know if we'll... I kind of like to buy one, but I don't know if we should wait. I don't know. I think we'll go ahead and buy one soon. Maybe I'll check on the next flight or something. Because you have to load the plane to see if you can actually use it and all that. But, uh... So we're here in Clarksville, Tennessee. Uh, we'll probably head keep heading north or so. Maybe to Indiana. Maybe some other place in Kentucky. I don't know. For the next flight. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you on the next flight.